Dan Ige knocks out Damon Jackson. This was a very, not a good fight really. It was a great performance and action packed, but it was generally one sided. I uh, did pick Damon Jackson to win. I thought he would insist, as I said, one way or the other on making it a ground fight. Just, you know, insisting on it and eventually getting it there. And there was none of that. I don't think they hit the ground for one second. Dan Ige was largely schooling him on the feet. Caught him up, bloodied him up, beat him down low and up high. And it became obvious that those hooks were going to be a problem. Especially that left hook. And that's what he finished him off with. I thought Dan was setting that up the whole fight. And he ended up landing it as Damon got a little desperate, I think. You know, he was uh, charging at Ige. I don't even know what he was going for. But he was charging in and Dan threw down and clipped him right on the button. And then got the walk-off knockout, which is extra sweet, you know. It's a great visual, and it's also kind of sportsmanlike, because you don't finish off your opponent. Even though it could be argued that it looks like a dick move or whatever, but I don't think so. Anyway, uh, Dan Ige was very emotional on the microphone afterwards, and uh, that was cool to see. The win meant a lot to him, and it just, this was a case of uh, momentum not being everything. As I speculated on the pre-fight video, even though I didn't, you know, I still bet with momentum. But momentum isn't everything. Dan Ige has fought a lot of killers. Just nothing but killers. And he's had a shitty record as of late. Even though a lot of them are decision losses. Uh, all of them are decision losses. But uh, fighting nothing but killers. And Damon Jackson, while he's fought some very good fighters, uh, they're not, you know, not one of them's at the level that Dan Ige's been fighting at. So uh, this was a case of levels. This was a case of, you know, momentum not being everything. In this case, it was nothing. And Dan Ige snatched all the momentum, got a big knockout victory, and uh, he did so in the co-main event. So it was a fucking awesome moment. Uh, sucks for Damon Jackson. I am a Damon Jackson fan, big Damon Jackson fan, and uh, sucks to see him lose, you know, uh, get finished, of course, which is typically how he does lose, but uh, it sucked to see that he wasn't really, you know, he was kind of outclassed, in my opinion, in this fight. It sucks to say, but he really didn't have anything going for him for the whole nine minutes or whatever it was. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Like, share, subscribe, all that horseshit. Check out my other videos.